So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you all the information that you need to start working on the poster. And uh, so first thing that I want to tell you is that the most important here is that your name will be, you can add this to your CV that you went to an international conference because you present a poster. And I think this will look very impressive. And now I'm going to help you to, to put your poster together in the, the first thing that you need to know is that if you go to Teams, Microsoft Teams to Cell Biology, you will find this section that say Evo Devo Insect Legs, and you will find a, a lot of information there, such as here I add um, all the data, and then I also add this a, a small essay that talk about that. And for the qualitative part of the pay of the poster, uh, I I already send you a video and I will help you to work on that to add it in the poster. And I think I already told you that about homeotic transformations that if you use artificial selection, if you imagine that this is the different organization of the bristles, when you do artificial selection to make the comb small, the leg and all the bristles still remain the same. The only thing that actually changed a little bit is the comb. However, when you have a homeotic transformation, you are turning the first dorsal segment into something different. Yeah, for example, the first dorsal segment into a second dorsal segment, and you find a lot of intermediate stage, and those intermediate stage are the ones that look like other drosophilus species. So for the quantitative component of the poster, we're going to measure the length of the bristles from here to here. And there has been a previous information that showed that mutations are able to mimic uh, the length of other bristles. And we're going to see if that, if using mutations, we can mimic what happened in the length of bristles in other species and also in our insects. Uh, in our Before I thought that we could measure the base, uh, the thickness of the bristle. However, uh, in although in mutants and in Drosophila species it is relatively easy, in insects, in other Drosophila, in other uh, insects, it seems to be more complicated. So I, I thought that there is no need to make it more complicated. So we can start with this. So remember, we're going to measure the length, not the diameter of the bristle. That was the previous idea, but uh, like, so not, we're going to measure, not measure this. We're going to measure this because it's just much easier. And um, we are going to divide the data in three groups. One of you will study the mutations in Drosophila species and the wild type, all ones study will study the Drosophila species and all ones will study the insects. And here are the two groups. So Nathan can study the uh, wild type and the and the and the mutations. Dawson can start use measuring the mutants and Naomi and Megan can work in the insects together in, in the other of, in the other bristles in other uh, insects. And here you will find your the data in Microsoft Teams. Then here you can see when you get into the data, you can get in your information and, and there there will be the pictures and if you go there you can find all the pictures that you have to analyze. I copy many more than you are supposed to analyze. You are supposed to analyze, uh, uh, in, my, in many cases, three legs. So it's very little information. And if we have more time, we can expand it. But with that, it's more than enough. I just put a lot of more pictures just in case that you, that, so you pick the ones that are easier to measure. And, and and then your life is easier. Uh, as you see, sometimes bristles can bend. Yeah, so to measure 
here to here the length is a little bit difficult but uh, imagery offer many options yeah so for example we can uh, there's an option that allow us to make like a the that give us the um, uh, the width the mi uh, minor and major axis uh, that is fit to an ellipsis so here there is an ellipsis and they allow us to measure to have those measurements and we can also measure the perimeter the area and so I already talked about the major and minor axis of this uh, of these ellipses fit ellipses and the idea is that you don't have to measure all of them you just want you just have to measure one of them and the software will give all the information and we will use an estimation and uh, I think we can use this one for the poster so this length and in that way we can have an estimation of, of the bristles uh, the length and we can if there's any question we can also compare it to to our type of measurement